What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to watermark images using Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to automate watermarking images in Python today. And the idea of watermarking is quite simple. You maybe already know it from stock photos. The idea is you have one or multiple uh, original images and let's say you want to monetize them you took these images yourself you have the copyright to these images and now you want to monetize them you want to earn some money with them what you usually do is you add a watermark on top so that people cannot just use them by copying the images they can see here in this case neural9.com with a couple of lines they can see what they would be buying if they want to pay money for it but they cannot just right click copy paste them they have to pay money so that you can provide them with the original image that's the basic idea of watermarking now let's say you are a photographer for example and you have 10,000 20,000 of these images that you want to watermark of course it's quite tedious to open all of them in photoshop or in gimp and to do all of this watermarking manually so what we're going to do in this video today is we're going to learn how to automate this process with python so how we can actually take a lot of images and just watermark them by calling a simple function so we're going to do this here by using one external Python package, the only package we're going to use in this video today, which is pillow. So we're going to use pip, pip or pip3 to install pillow. And our only import is going to be from PIL, so capital PIL, pillow, import image, image draw and image font. And then we're going to define a function at watermark overlay and this function will take three parameters input image path output image path and watermark text which in my case was neuron9.com but of course you can change that to whatever you need so the input image will be loaded by using image.open input image path and then we're going to convert this to rgba so we're going to say input image convert RGBA, red, green, blue, and uh, I don't know what A actually stands for, but it's opacity basically, so transparency, uh, I think alpha, alpha channel. Um, so RGBA, and then we're going to say the width and the height of this image is the input image uh, size. So this is going to give us a tuple of width and height. Now we need that to find the center of the image where we're going to place everything. But first of all, we need to create an overlay, which is going to be image dot new. And we're going to just say here that it's going to have the RGBA uh, color system. We're going to say input image size is going to be the size of this overlay. And we're going to set this to 255, 255, 255 with zero opacity so basically white with zero opacity um and what we want to do now is we want to say a draw object is going to be image draw draw overlay and on this overlay we're going to draw certain things like the lines and um also the text and for the lines we're going to define a color so watermark color pattern is going to be equal to 255, 255, 255, and an opacity of 30. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw the diagonal lines. We're going to say 4i in range 0 up until width plus height with a step size of 50. We're going to say draw line until we're going to pass now 0 height minus i. I height. I'm going to say fill is going to be equal to the watermark color pattern. The width is going to be equal to five. So this is just drawing the uh, diagonal lines. And then we're going to set the font size equal to 80. And the font is going to be an image font dot true type. Uh, Arial.ttf. Now it's lagging again. Thanks for that. And font size here. And then we're going to say text width and text height is going to be equal to 
draw.text size um, watermark text and font like this. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the center of the image where we're going to place the text. So we're going to say x is equal to width minus text width. By the way, please excuse my voice. I'm still quite cold, uh, as you probably notice. Um, and then we're going to say here y is height minus text height divided by 2. And then we're going to define the color for the text, watermark color text is going to be equal to 255, 255, 255 with 80 opacity. And then we're going to say draw dot text x and y. Actually, this is a tuple here. Um, watermark text is the text itself. And the color is going to be watermark color text, the font is going to be equal to font. And then the watermarked image is going to be equal to image alpha composite input image and overlay. And finally, to just output this image, we're going to say watermarked image save output image path. And now we can just call this function by saying input image path is equal to input image. Now I'm going to delete the output image so that we can generate it again. So input image path is input image JPEG. The output image path um, needs to be a PNG file, I think, even though I'm not exactly sure, but I think it has to be PNG because of the alpha channel. Uh, we're going to say output image dot PNG and the watermark text will be YouTube tutorial. And then we can just call add watermark overlay. Um, and we can just pass these things input image path, output image path, watermark text. So let's run this, we get a warning. And there you go. Our image is watermarked with YouTube tutorial. Now, I only have one image here now, but automating this for many images is very, very simple. All you would have to do is you would have to import OS, you would have to get a directory here with images, and then you would say something like for file in, <clears throat> sorry, for file in OS list directory images, you would just say, um, you could just say something like uh, add watermark overlay file, or actually, you would have to say images, and then file. And then the output would be something like images, or maybe you create another directory output images or something. And then you say maybe something like file, uh, Maybe you could say here, watermarked file, and then you replace the JPEG with PNG in case you have to. Um, what's the problem here? Oh, we have to use double quotations in the F string. Uh, but yeah, basically, you can do that. And you want to use, of course, the watermark text, which is, uh, you know, neural nine or something. So in this case, you could try that you could just paste this here, I can run the script, no such file in directory, yes, because I'm still running this here. But there you go. You can automate this for as many images as you want. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.